It can be incredibly frustrating to have a fire stick stuck on the Fire TV logo screen or caught in a boot loop. But don't worry, in most cases, resolving this issue is relatively easy. In this video, I'll provide you with some straightforward solutions. However, if these do not resolve your issue, don't worry. I do have additional advanced tips to offer, as well as some valuable advice towards the end of the video. So make sure to watch to the end. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. If you haven't tried it already, a simple solution to resolve Fire Stick issues is to allow it to cool down and power down completely. Now this may seem obvious, but it could do the trick. Remove your Fire Stick from the TV and the power source. If you have any attachments like an OTG cable, adapter or USB hub, remove those as well. Wait at least five minutes. Then reconnect your Fire Stick to the TV and power supply. If you've attached any peripherals, it's best to leave them disconnected for now. This will help determine if your accessories are causing your problems. If your Fire Stick can power up without the attachments, consider replacing the OTG and ensuring that you use compatible attachments. You can check out the links in the description and pinned comment below for my recommendations. If you're experiencing an issue with your Fire Stick using a USB port on your TV or a non-original power adapter may be the cause. It's likely that your Fire Stick isn't receiving the necessary amount of power to boot up fully. For best results, use the original power adapter that came with your Fire Stick. Also, try plugging it into a different outlet. If using the power adapter doesn't solve the issue, consider replacing the power cable, preferably with the official one from Amazon that came with the device. If you've lost the originals, you can find links in the description and pinned comment below. Alternatively, you can also try using any other micro USB cable, as many people often have a spare one at home, and it may work just as well as the original. It is possible that your TV's HDMI port is causing issues. To troubleshoot, disconnect all HDMI devices from your TV and try plugging your Fire Stick to each port one by one. Then test each HDMI port to see if this resolves the problem. If this doesn't work, try your Fire Stick on a different TV. Now, when I last had an issue with my 4K Fire Stick stuck on a boot loop, this was the solution that worked for me. I left my Fire Stick overnight, and when I checked it in the morning, it had returned to the home screen. Now, sometimes your Fire Stick may just need a bit of extra time to process a task that it's stuck on in the background. Try leaving it alone for at least a few hours or overnight if you can. Chances are it will be fixed by the morning. 
Performing a factory reset on your device can be done using the remote control. This process will restore your device to its original settings and erase all data and personalizations. But it is a helpful solution in case of technical issues like a boot loop. To initiate a factory reset, press and hold the right directional button and the back button simultaneously for approximately 10 seconds. A message will appear on your screen confirming that the reset has been initiated and will occur automatically. If you have a wired USB keyboard and an OTG cable or adapter, there's an advanced tip you can try. You can put your Fire Stick into safe mode by pressing a few buttons on your keyboard. If you're interested in trying this step but don't have the necessary equipment, you can find helpful links in the description and pinned comment below. To connect a wired USB keyboard to your Fire Stick, plug an OTG cable or adapter into your device. This will create a USB port that you can use to connect the keyboard. Afterwards, plug the power supply into the OTG cable or adapter to complete the setup. To activate safe mode on the Fire Stick, you need to press and hold five different keys simultaneously. When you see the Fire TV logo, Press and hold the Control and Alt buttons with one hand and with the other, press and hold the Menu, Print Screen and I buttons. Hold down the buttons until Safe Mode appears in the bottom left corner, then release. Your Fire Stick should then be back at the Home screen in Safe Mode. Try a simple restart to see if this fixes your problem or perform a factory reset. Additionally, if you sideloaded an app before your problem started, this app could be the cause of your issue. Try uninstalling it and then check if removing it fixes the issue. If all of these tips provided do not resolve the issue, it may be worthwhile reaching out to Amazon. Defective devices are covered under the manufacturer's warranty and consumer rights, so discussing your options with Amazon could be beneficial. Some customers have even received a free replacement or a discount on a new device. If you want to purchase a new Fire Stick, you can find links in the description and pinned comment below. I hope these tips helped fix your Fire Stick issues. If they did, please let me know which one worked for you in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers and I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before. And NordVPN is an excellent choice. I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Fire Stick, by searching for it in your app store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network 
without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalised online experience. Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days.